this is Dell Inspiron 14 inch 5410 model and today in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade SSD for this model. By the way this machine comes with mini type NVMe SSD also if you would like you can install the full length NVMe SSD 3.0 4.0 whatever okay so to do this what you need to do first you need to have the NVMe SSD so the first thing is to take out all the screws from the back cover to do that you need Phillips sc screwdriver flat opening tool plastic and metal and piece of cloth just to have the grip so first things let's take out all the screws the screws comes in two different sizes the hinges one little bit longer and the rest of them are shorter so remove all of them with the right screwdriver once this is removed take a piece of cloth and gently take this out from this side is pretty difficult so I found the easiest way in there but if you use any metal tool be careful don't leave any mark or scratch it's easy to get damage take a guitar pick and just open this up like that so it took about five to seven minutes just to take out the back cover so it consumed the time don't worry it's removed now first things that we need to do is disconnect the battery that's the first thing before you touch any other component so I'm gonna take this adhesive out to the pull up tab and if you pull this one towards you, it's going to disconnect it. So here is the SSD. As you can see, this is the short version one. But don't worry, you can even attach the full version. As you can see, there is the adapter to use any sizes of NBME SSD. So that's what the one remote. This is 256 gig. We're going to put 1 TB or 512, it depends. The procedure would be the same. So while it disconnected, can you remove this? And take the full length one, as you can see, that's the one. You can use any brand, does not matter. Western Digital, Samsung, whatever you like. And here is the adapter. You need to take this out. So there is some sort of candy to hold this actual NVMe SSD in any sizes, as you can see. The original one is the mini version, and this is the full version. It shows the same teeth. So what you have to do before we install the full length one, we need to adjust the caddy. Okay. So there is a uh, long screw. Use any sort of plier. Or the screwdriver to take this out this is such a little metal caddy you can just take out and adjust the length it's a little bit tricky but it's not that difficult as you can see we take it out now we're gonna install farther so that we can fit the actual full length and BME SSD just put it there click it and now you can install it I wish they do have some sort of heat sink for the SSD but there is no any options that's okay that's fine it's not a gaming laptop anyway so it's done now we're going to reconnect the battery that's how simple it is and then the back cover and this machine is ready to take new windows if you would like to keep your existing data then you must need to clone this new SSD with the old one if you don't know how to create or how to do the cloning let me know in the comment section I will produce a full-length video how to back up the whole system into the new drive you know let's say 
you just want to keep your adjusted data partition everything 100% same to same then cloning would be the best option so let's put the screws back and the job is done let me know if you still do have any question regarding this model either the bios or how to upgrade battery you know whatever i will try my best to answer it and if you do like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching bye for now